Greetings all my happy haunts and troubled souls and welcome back to another day of Design Fest. What is Design Fest? Well, it's a monthly challenge I made up where you redesign a character of yours or maybe a friend's with their permission of course. Each day has a theme to follow or at least stick kind of close to. You can keep important elements of a character like beauty marks, color schemes, you know, most of the time anyway, and you know, the usual sort of things. The main point is just to play around and have fun with it, maybe try something new, who knows. So today's theme is Someday My Prince Will Come. The main point of today, make your character look like a princess. You can go as cliche as you like, you just need to fit them in with the various princesses found all around the world. So guess what? We have an actual theme and concept today, I know it's crazy. I kind of gave Ash a really generic look last year and I wasn't really happy with it, so I wanted to make it up this year by going a little bit more all out. And man, does my arm regret it. <laughs> I mean, not like it came out bad, mind you, but it just took so long and after yesterday, I am insanely behind. Yay! But it came out so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get to com Hi, Gizmo. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to explaining my concept here, shall we? Now, I love the artwork behind Tangled, and I thought that Rapunzel in particular was a really good fit for Ash. Especially since I already did Aurora from Sleeping Beauty last year, and that was more because I liked the design behind Sleeping Beauty. The actual princess doesn't really have much of a personality, does she? Well, she's got a nice singing voice, I suppose. But getting back to our Rapunzel concept, Ash does spend most of her time locked up in a figurative tower kept away from others, so it works. Since I always draw Ash as ticked off, annoyed, or some kind of pissed, I thought it'd be nice to draw her a little bit differently today. You know, a little softer, a little nicer. So I have her sitting up on a little windowsill, just looking out and pondering. It's so serene, you know? Especially after yesterday's design, it's nice to have a relaxing one like this to break things up. Well, relaxing in the sense of, you know, the mood of the picture. Over here, I was kind of freaking out a little bit since I was pushed for time. <laughs> Originally, I drew her head tilted more towards the viewer so you can see her expression a little better, but I liked her face turned away. I, I don't know, it felt a little more like her, you know? Like you're getting to see another side of her and she has no idea that you're there, so she's not putting up a front or anything, you know. It's just her. Ash is all about appearances after all, she's not the type to slouch or curl up like that. She'd only do that if she was confident she was alone, or you know, if she was with someone she was incredibly comfortable with. Not that she comes across any particular person like that in the comic or anything, mind you. <laughs> I also originally had Ash with her favorite book in her hands, the ones that she reads during Project Evolution, but I thought maybe putting her star ball there would be a bit more of a cooler touch. It wouldn't be quite as, you know, cliche or anything. I don't know, I didn't want to rip off the Disney version of Rapunzel. Do other versions of Rapunzel like books too? I don't know. Someone needs to fill me in on this. Plus, I just really like painting crystals. They're really relaxing. Especially when they're a nice, smooth, even surface like that. Well. Mostly smooth, anyway. This is the first time you guys will be seeing that, huh? Surprise, I guess. It'll look a little bit different in the comics since, you know, it's a different style and everything. I didn't want to give too much away here, so I did kind of tweak it so it wasn't exactly the same as what you're gonna see. So yeah, there's that. I did reference a lot of the concept art behind Rapunzel and even the artwork they use in the storybook retellings, and guess what? Our friend the Running Edge watercolor brush is back. Yay! A lot of the artwork was pretty textured and I figured the watercolor brush will work a little bit better since I didn't want it to be too crisp or too, you know, even on the shading and all, so the oil brush wouldn't have worked there. Now when I researched it, the earliest I found Rapunzel to date back to, at least the general story of hers because all these famous fairy tales are basically just retellings of other stories, because that's how great stories work I guess. But the earliest I can find her was about in the 1600s, granted that was in Italy, but I figure I probably should just keep Ash in England, so that puts her about the Elizabethan era. Yay! I love that fashion period. Yay! So I did the best I could in trying to find an outfit that would work here without it being too much. The problem with a lot of old European fashion is they didn't really know what was too much, did they? 
No offense, I didn't feel like drawing some giant neck frills or anything like that. I wanted something that was rich, but not too structured. You know, I don't want crazy tight bodices or an overdone neck frill or anything like that. I wanted something a bit more comfy and casual. Well, I suppose comfy clothes didn't exist for women back then, did they? <laughs> well, I tried to keep some details from Asha's design in this. It's probably about the furthest she's ever looked from her usual self, huh? I didn't want this to be as stylized as I normally go, so I tried sticking a bit closer to actual human anatomy, which added a whole lot more difficulty here. While it would be easier to make it like my usual stuff, you know I can't take the easy route. Design Fest was originally made so I could experiment with things and do stuff that I don't normally. I've mentioned this before, but I really don't want my art to stagnate. While every artist likes the idea of someone pointing to a piece they've done and being like, oh, that's so-and-so's art. I didn't want my art to just be the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. I like the idea of having some of these wild card pieces that make people go, Wait, what? That's her? You're joking, what? Right? Right? But man, I tell ya, this was so tiring. Don't get me wrong, I'm super proud of it and all, but it was so tiring, but it turned out so good. Oh my god. This is the joy of Design Fest, I tell you. It's exhausting, but it's so cool just to see what your mind comes up with. I know it's not done yet, the speed paint, anyway, but I had to put Gizmo to bed. If you hear clicking and all of that fun noises, that's him, because he's literally getting ready for bed right now, so I had to finish this up on my old computer. I wasn't joking when I said I was pushed for time here. We're going to bed, Gizmo, I promise. If you guys tried out Design Fest this year, go ahead and send it to me on my DeviantArt Twitter or show it off on my Discord server. All the links are below. I hope you guys have a scary time this year, and until next time you goblins and ghosts, farewell and happy Halloween to all. <laughs>